Hey guys, so Jenny from Laser Gaming. In this video, I want to talk about five things that Titanfall 2 does better than Battlefield 1. And if you want me to do a different video talking about what Battlefield 1 does better than Titanfall 2, don't forget to tell me down below in the comments. But these are really the things that people don't think about um, when openly saying that Battlefield 1 is one of the best games on the market because Titanfall 2 has a lot of really good upsides that for sure are better in some aspects than Battlefield 1. So I'm just going to go through some of them and hopefully it'll convince you guys to buy the game. I mean, obviously I only have like... 4,000 subscribers, so I'm not sponsored by Titanfall, but I think it's a really, really good game that deserves more attention than it's getting right now. So, if you are thinking about getting it, hopefully these will convince you to get the game. So, the first one is free DLC. So, already tomorrow, or maybe even the day this is being uploaded, they're going to release a free DLC. While it is a remake of a Titanfall 1 map, they're also releasing two new free Titans and another free weapon already. And they're saying that all the DLC that comes out for this game is going to be free. There's no premium, there's no nothing, which is just really, really awesome. I mean, who knows if they did this just because they weren't sure what their player base is going to be like and they didn't want to have a commitment to DLC. But I think the fact that they're just giving away free DLC in general is just really, really awesome. And in Battlefield 1, I mean, it already has limited content, and if you want to get um, a bunch of the extra content, like the majority of it, you're going to have to buy premium, which really sucks. And the next part is the campaign. So, the Battlefield 1 campaign is pretty good. I played through it, but it honestly just doesn't really develop the characters that much because you only get to play a couple missions with each character. I feel that if they were to do a campaign, it would be better if they were to just follow one character through the entire campaign and now I know that this wouldn't really um, honor World War One as it should be honored but Titanfall 2's style of campaign just offers a better campaign. Um, these are the people who did a bunch of the early Call of Duty campaigns that were really really good and they do a really good campaign in Titanfall 2. Uh, it's something that wasn't in Titanfall 1 so many of you might not even know that there is a campaign in Titanfall 2 but it's a really good campaign. I haven't played through it personally but I've watched a walkthrough of it and it looks like a very good campaign. I've played through part of it but it looks like an awesome campaign and it got rated as one of the highest campaigns. The only thing is it's, it's a little short, but this game also has multiplayer, such as a campaign game, so it's really cool that they have that. The third reason is the customization. So this is a big issue for me with Battlefield 1. So I've been going back and playing Hardline in Battlefield 4 recently, and you're able to just put suppressors on weapons, use maybe ACOG sights on guns, laser sights, extended mags. You can customize your weapons in so many different ways in these games. And then Battlefield 1 is just like, oh, here's a couple different variants of the gun you can use. But it doesn't really leave the customization up to the user, which it does really, really annoy me. Now, I know people are going to be like, oh, it's World War 1. They didn't have customization. It is World War 1, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to miss it when you don't have it in the game. I mean, they couldn't really do it, but... You can't just say that they get a free pass because it is World War One, because it is definitely something that I miss in this game in Battlefield One, and something that is really awesome in Titanfall Two. You can customize a bunch of the different traits of your weapons. You can customize the sights of your weapons. Um, you can do a ton of customization with various perks and stuff. I mean, it's just really awesome, and you can even customize your Titans a little bit. It's not as big as Titanfall One. But you can customize your Titans for sure, and they're, they, they've said that they're going to bring more Titan customization in upcoming DLC. Now the fourth one is the arena slash competitive scene. So I forget exactly what it's called, but it's sort of like a cage match game mode. I streamed it a while ago, but it's a very, very fun 1v1 game mode in this game. It's extremely awesome and extremely entertaining to do. It's just a super awesome up to first to three cage match. You have to pay to enter, not pay real money, but pay in-game credits, which is really cool and out. And imagine if Battlefield 1, if you were able to pay war bonds to get into a sort of 1v1 game mode, that'd be really cool. Obviously, they'd have to restructure the maps because a 1v1 in Battlefield would be insane unless it's in a really close quarters area. But in Titanfall 2, this is sort of in a dome. I for sure I'll have some gameplay of it in the background because it's a bunch of the gameplay that I have from the game. And it's really what I've been playing primarily on this game. I really only grind multiplayer just so that I can get enough credits to enter this mode because this mode is just so fun to me. It's so awesome and intense when you get down to those 2-2 tied moments. It's just absolutely insane. Now number five is custom games. So 
I know in Battlefield they say they have custom games, but you have to pay if you want to run your own server. In Titanfall 2, you can have your own custom server, have your friends join in, do 1v1s with your friends, maybe even get 2v2s, 3v3s going. It's just really cool to be able to do that. And I mean, as someone who plays a lot of competitive Call of Duty, it's something that I really take for granted when I go to a game that I'll be able to just go in and maybe 2v2 search and destroy with my friends. But in Battlefield, you can't do that. And that really bugs me because it makes it hard for there to be a competitive scene for the game. And Titanfall 2 already has some game battles, ladders, and stuff. Obviously, it's not that big because the game isn't that big right now. But it's just super, super fun to be able to do those custom games. Because you can just change the rules to whatever you want. You can do a ton of fun settings, fun game modes, and stuff that you don't really get when you're playing in public servers. And it's something that Battlefield doesn't do and that Titanfall does. And the last one is a bit controversial, but I just think is absolutely awesome. That's why I'm not counting it on the top five. It's more of just an extra thing is Titans. So Titans are just freaking awesome. The fact that you can call in that Titan and like just it's so sick. It provides a completely different style of gameplay to the normal infantry gameplay on the ground. And if you don't like Titans, you can play in the AP8. Uh, pilot mode which is one of my favorite modes because the infantry combat in this game is extremely good for a game that has a huge focus on mechs. They still have a really good infantry foundation, but the Titans provide a whole new aspect of game that Titanfall 2 really takes advantage of. Battlefield 1 has vehicles, but they don't have a vehicle only mode like air superiority or even tank superiority, but Titanfall 2 has Last Titan Standing, a very fun Titan game mode that you can play and it's sort of just... you. And all the Titans just going at pretty much mech only gameplay, which is really, really sick. Imagine Battlefield, I mean, they've had it in previous games, but Air Superiority was such a fun game mode, and guaranteed they're gonna bring it in DLC that you're gonna have to pay for. But in Titanfall 2, if they bring any extra stuff into DLC, you will not have to pay for it. So that's really why I think Titanfall 2 is better than Battlefield 1 in these aspects. I'm not saying it's the better game necessarily, that's entirely up to opinion. And I, for sure, have a ton of reasons why Battlefield 1 is a better game. So, if you want to see that, don't forget to drop it down below in the comment section. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. But that's what it was for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.